welcome to the 2024 Rivers of the World virtual event. You can have an opportunity to see what our guests will get to experience on a true round the world cr river cruise. This cruise is going to take place in October of 2024, and they're going to have the opportunity to travel from Lima, Peru to Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, over 55 days on four incredible super ships. Let's take a look at the video. Wow, that was incredible. Can you just imagine going on that cruise? We want to ensure, though, that you really understand how incredible it's going to be. So we've asked our destination experts to join us today. So we're going to start first with Monica, who is from Aqua Expeditions, and she's going to speak with you about what will happen when you're in Peru, Argentina, and Brazil. I'm Monica with Aqua Expeditions, Uniworld's river cruise partner in Peru, and I'm so excited to share with you a bit more about the program that we've built for Rivers of the World. Uniworld has chartered our vessel, the Aquanera, especially for the Rivers of the World cruisers. On board our all-suite vessel, you'll find 20 spacious suites, each featuring floor-to-ceiling windows, providing every guest with a breathtakingly beautiful and unobstructed view of the Amazon rainforest. On board, you'll enjoy amenities like a full spa, full gym, a small screening room, a billiards room, and my personal favorite, our expansive outdoor areas, including an infinity plunge pool. The Amazon rainforest stretches across nine countries in South America, so you may be wondering why we sail the Peruvian Amazon in particular. The answer is simple, the Pacaya Samira National Reserve. As one of the largest protected areas of the Amazon, the reserve is one of the most pristine and biodiverse regions in the entire Amazon basin. The animals in the reserve account for nearly 30% of animal species in the entire Amazon region and nearly 450 recorded bird species. As a designated national reserve, the region is protected against overdevelopment, providing guests with an authentic rainforest experience that's dense in wildlife but with limited human interference. 
back on board, you can expect incredible cuisine with a menu curated by our consulting chef, Pedro Miguel Schiaffino, who has created a menu that is not only Peruvian, but includes Amazonian flair, technique, and ingredients. What's so perfect about this trip is that it makes sure you get to see all the must-dos in Peru, while also leaving you with unique memories, showing you parts of the country that many travelers don't think to look for. During the land portion of this journey, you'll get to visit other highlights of Peru, including Machu Picchu. The site stands as an awe-inspiring testament to the ingenuity of human civilization, a majestic citadel perched amid the Andean peaks. The magnitude of seeing it will literally move you to tears. And while in the Sacred Valley, we also have a rare opportunity to visit a community of women weavers who work tirelessly to keep the ancient tradition alive. And we do so with a private presentation at an archaeological site. And lastly, during our time in Lima, we visit the oldest house, a beautiful architectural property that has been owned by the same family for 17 generations. And not only do we have the rare opportunity to visit this home, but we enjoy a private lunch with a member of that family, something very few have the opportunity to experience. We handpicked some of the best hotels in Latin America for this trip. A trio of Belmont Hotels, a brand that's synonymous with luxury around the world, as well as some incredible boutique properties like the Country Club Hotel in Lima. After Peru, our journey continues on to Brazil. Now this is really special, something we've never done before, Iguazu Falls. Situated on the Argentinian and Brazilian border, Iguazu is the largest waterfall system in the world, beating out the more popular tourist destinations of Niagara Falls and Victoria Falls. Our hotel here is not only beautiful, you'll see it when you get there, it's this charming pastel pink building with chic interiors, but it's also the only one actually inside Iguazu National Park. That means fantastic views and easy access to all the nature right outside our hotel. And finally, we visit Rio de Janeiro. While our time here is limited, we know that no trip to South America for our Rivers of the World program would be complete without it. To make the most of our time in Rio, we've designed a program that includes all of the icons. That means staying at none other than the Belmont Copacabana Hotel right on Copacabana Beach and a visit to Sugarloaf Mountain, as well as standing at the feet of the Christ the Redeemer statue for one of the most spectacular views you'll ever see. We can't wait to see you in South America. And now I'd like to pass it over to Rick in Europe. Hi everybody. My name is Rick and I'm one of the cruise managers of Univo. I've been with Univo for 20 years and I'm currently doing the itinerary that you are going to do. Amsterdam to Budapest. We're halfway. And halfway we find this lovely surprise. It's the city of Bamberg, which is known for its beautiful architecture, as you can see, and its smoked beer. Anyway, you will start your adventures in Amsterdam, boarding the beautiful Beatrice, which is indeed an SS ship, so plenty of choice of rooms and suites. And what I love about the Beatrice, it has some extra alternative areas where you can have dinner. So you, for example, can go into the back at Max's and have dinner there. Or in the front, there's a little, uh, little restaurant called Schubert. Starting in Amsterdam, you have 15 days in total on the beautiful Beatrice. And we're going to show you five countries. We're going to take you to the Rhine, the Main River, the Germans dug a canal 30 years ago. And that will bring us to the Danube and sailing into beautiful uh, capital cities like Vienna and Budapest. On the canal, which it connects you between the Main and the Rhine and the Danube, we'll go through locks, 16 of them in total here on the canal, and three of them three, are 23 meters tall, which is 84 feet that we have to uh, go and climb up. So it's quite spectacular. This is Regensburg. I'm on the historical stone bridge. Danube is there, but further down, that's where the ship is docked. So very close to the city center. We walk you over to the church, to this beautiful area here. After the tour, this is what you need to do. Have the Regensburger sausages in the oldest 
sausage place, snack bar, however you like to call it, in the world, right up here. And the other choice you have here in Regensburg is we take you away from Regensburg, 30 minutes drive, right in the countryside, to a very small village where you will be welcomed by Elizabeth. She is the owner and the pride of the farm, the hops farm. Hops is um, grown for beer. They cultivate the hops, they make beer out of it, and she could not be prouder of her family and of her farm. So that is your second choice here in Regensburg, the hops farm, or this city center with the beautiful cathedral and the stone bridge, as you can see. This is Passau, three rivers, the Inn, the Danube, and the Ilz River coming together in the city of Passau. This will be your last stop in Germany. And for all the people that are traveling on the world cruise, we included the wonderful Viennese concert for you here in Vienna. Join us. Join us. With Maria Teresa in the back, we are visiting the Art History Museum this morning before it opens for everybody else, just for us, and it has an incredible inside. Let's have a peek. One of my favorite stops is Vienna. And we start off really with a bang. Look at this. It's the Art History Museum. And even if you don't like museums, you have to see this incredible piece of architecture. Great start of the day. And we get in before anybody else does before opening hours, just for us. After 15 days of sailing, you will enter into Budapest. Five rivers, five countries, and we'll have this marvelous view onto the wonderful parliament building. And from Budapest, your next stop is France. So this ship is on the Rhone and Saône River. Um, so it is a very beautiful ship. There is a great collection of art. Um, Milo, for instance, a beautiful painter. Uh, there is a beautiful horse in Murano glass also. Great chandelier. And um, yeah, this ship is going from Al on Sunday to Burgundy, so Provence to Burgundy in one week. And the following week is now to South. So what are the highlights, highlights in, on this cruise? Um, first of all, if you start in Hull, the, um, there is a beautiful visit of this, um, this Roman city. Um, there is a famous painter who spent his life there, is a Van Gogh. And then this cruise will go also to Avignon. Avignon, famous for the Box Palace. There is, for the guests who want, there is an active program. There's a kayak ride by the Gardon River, by the beautiful Roman aqueduct by UNESCO World Heritage. And then this cruise goes also to tiny, tiny villages, uh, such as Vivier. So DJ is one of my best and also the, the best itinerary for for the for the guests, for our guests. Uh, because 
for instance, he goes to the house of the guys and all the guests they love. And then we continue, we go to a wine area, we go to twin towns called Paris-Hermitage and Tournon. And this is very famous for wine. We will be in a wine area, in a vineyard, steep uh, sauce. And this cruise then continues to a big city, goes to Lyon. So Lyon is the capital of gastronomy. Famous chef was Bocuse, Paul Bocuse. Um, and eventually we will finish our trip towards Burgundy. So we will see two regions, Provence and Burgundy. And in Burgundy, what is nice, obviously there are vineyards also, but the idea with our guests is to go to um, the hospices, old hospital um, back from the 15th century. So we will visit this uh, charity hospital and there is also a local market, a food market that all guests love. It's such a, an amazing cruise. Um, we have lots of sailing on this, set around and and um, so rivers. Oh, and a couple of special experiences we have included for rivers of the world guests is, for instance, truffle hunting tour. So you will get to learn how we pick the truffles in France, in the south of France, by dogs. So yeah, that will be a dog demo. And uh, we also another tour, a very exciting tour in Provence. This is about olive oil tasting. So you will go to a farm, actually a family business, two sisters running this business, and you will taste the olive oil with tapenade on the baguette, of course. All the guests, they love that. So this are, uh, by the way, tours that will be included for our Rivers of the World guests. And now I will pass you off to Chi in Southeast Asia. Au revoir. Bye bye. Hello, my name is Chi and I'm the destination expert on Vietnam and Cambodia. I work closely with UniWorld in developing their programs in this region. And this is such an amazing and once in a lifetime experience. Let me tell you about the Mekong Jewel. UniWorld River Ships is the most luxurious ships on the Mekong. Every stateroom on board is a suite and you'll have a lot of space to yourself and I can't say enough about the crew. We hear from guests all the time how amazingly kind and warm the service is. And the crew is so passionate about what they do. Every request is a special request for them, even the small ones. And they will do everything they can to make your stay special. The ship sailed the Mekong Delta for seven nights and what unique about this river is how integral it is in the everyday life and culture of the people who live and work on along the riverbanks and on the water itself. The Mekong Delta is our main source of rice production and has major contributions to our economy and culture. We affectionately call it a rice bowl of Vietnam so if you really want to truly experience and connect with local communities of the Delta, there's no better way than taking river cruise. Made up of very many islands and villages, each kind of segregated from each other. And not only does each island have their own communities, they also have their own culture as well. This is what makes them so diverse and unique. Most importantly, our tour guides are the best you can find in Vietnam and Cambodia. They, they've been working with us for many years and their knowledge of each of the towns and villages we visit is remarkable. Outside of the Delta, we've curated a very exciting program as well. Something that was important to us was picking out the very best accommodations where everywhere you go, 
and giving you enough time to fully appreciate the destinations. We included immersive city experience for your stays at the Sofitel Legend Metropole in Hanoi, the Park Hyatt Saigon in Ho Chi Minh City, and we've also booked another incredible Sofitel property in Siem Reap, known as the Gateway to Angkor. It's an excellent starting point for our explorations of Angkor Wat and the other ancient temples of Cambodia, Khmer Empire. This is a real highlight of a program. You'll see for yourself when you are there, the monumental nature of these temples and what unbelievable feats of architecture they are. This is just a peek at some of the once in a lifetime experience we built in this trip for you. I know our travelers on the rivers of the world next year will have the times for their lives. We can't wait to welcome you on board in 2024. Back to you, Ellen. Thank you, Chi, and our amazing cruise managers for bringing to life this incredible trip. Now, we thought it would be great for you, though, to actually hear from some guests who actually traveled with us on the Rivers of the World experience, which happened in 2023. I was so fortunate to go to Egypt and actually kick off this amazing trip. So now we're going to turn it over to some of our guests who will tell you in depth what they got to experience. There you are. There you are. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Hi, Armin. How are you? We're well. Thanks, Ellen. Good. How are you? I'm good. Are you back in uh, Canada? We are right now. Oh, very good. Yes, I'm here in sunny Los Angeles. Uh, in, uh, it's nice to be in the office with everybody. Um, so, you know, it's so fun. I got the chance to meet you guys the first time on the Mystery Cruise, right? Which was, um, I think, you know, post-COVID. So we were all so excited to be there. Um, mm -hmm. And so it was great to meet you. Had you guys been on a Uniworld cruise before that? We had. Yeah. We did um, two back-to-back -back cruises in Europe. We did Amsterdam to Budapest followed by Budapest to Bucharest, and then a little overland tour in Romania. Oh, okay, great, good. Well, and then I actually believe you might have been the first couple to actually book the, the Rivers of the World in 2023. Uh, so why did you choose to do this? I'm just so curious um, as to what made you choose this incredible adventure. Well, I, I think before that we, we had booked a previous cruise we were going to go to uh, Venice okay and a little bit before that I got sick oh. so I had to stay home I had to have an operation and stuff and so we, we had to cancel that one and then uh, we, we, we get the Uniworld emails and this rivers of the world one came up and we thought hmm, you know we missed that other one and it's going to Venice as well so I said well let's 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 book that one because it'll do a number of places that we wanted to go. Uh, Egypt was one of them. Uh, We're also starting to realize that um, life is short yeah. and that we may not be able to travel forever. And we're really one health crisis from not being able to travel at all. So being able to knock off five destinations on our list at one go was great. And, you know, going back and forth over five years, the travel's exhausting and the cost mounts up. And yeah. so we really just thought this filled a lot of the things we'd like to do in, in one go. That's awesome. No, and you guys were able to go across. You had five different segments on five super ships. Um, and I was lucky enough to be with you in Egypt. Uh, so, of course, that was my favorite because I was only with you for one segment. But um, do you guys have a favorite segment um, from the Rivers of the World in 2023? I would say uh, the Egyptian cruise. Yeah. Even though, like, it was the first, but it was so exotic yeah uh, compared to uh the european type cruises i mean you get to see wonderful kind of old stuff but the stuff in egypt is so so much older yes it um, is yeah <laughs> well and, and our guides there were absolutely exceptional yeah. and they made history fun and entertaining and just very real i mean it was amazing to see these structures and and you know how intricately they were built for the time and just being able to see with our own eyes things that we've read about heard about seen pictures of over the years yeah mm -hmm. 
So I left you guys um, in Egypt and then you flew to Italy. So how was it having a traveling concierge with you? Did that work well, having incredible Anthony with you? Uh, he was invaluable in, in organizing the, the transfers uh, because, you know, you you're typically would just get on the plane on your own and have right. to be collected at the other end. But he knew uh, where we're going. We go in a group and he would interface with the Uniworld people at, at the destination, organizing our, our pickup. And yeah. yeah, I mean, he set up a WhatsApp chat for our Rivers of the World group. And so we were able to put things like our daily itinerary on there, ask questions of him, um, chat with one another, share photos of our days. And uh, he also did stuff like, um, you know, he could find medicine for people, find a doctor, wrestle up a tie for the captain's table dinner. <laughs> he could book dinner reservations off ship with transportation for someone who wanted them. I mean, he was able to really do everything. He was a genie. Yes. Um, <laughs> He yeah. did um, a special visit for the Australian group on our tour to Villiers Bretonneau for the Australian uh, National Memorial when we were visiting Normandy. Yeah. And that was something they really wanted that wasn't part of our itinerary. And he was able to pull that together for them. And also the um, final gala that he did for us at the end, the farewell gala at the end was um, absolutely spectacular. spectacular. Yeah, it wow. was amazing. Good. Yeah, no, there's a lot of special things along the way. Um, I think getting to go to the gem, to the Grand Egyptian Museum, just us at the beginning was pretty spectacular. And then I know at the end you had also the, the big event in Lisbon. Um, and that's kind of what we wanted to do was create special moments for our Rivers of the World guests, our things that other people just can't do. Um, True. Well, and, and we enjoyed um, St. Mark's Basilica at night yeah. as a private tour, a choir in France in a church. Um, a nighttime visit to Schönbrunn Palace. Um, it was just really, really wonderful to be able to enjoy some of those things as a small group. And we know that Uniworld um, organizes those wonderful excursions. Yeah. And so you guys must have made some good friends along the way. Um, are you keeping in touch? Well, we still have the WhatsApp group going. Yeah. Uh, I I'm, I'm on it, so I see it too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna send a WhatsApp when we're done here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Um, yeah, and it's interesting because people in that group are talking about meeting up again, perhaps in 2025, yeah. um, just because they've made good friendships. And, and we still chat a little bit with people in that group, but we're pretty far away to get to visit anyone. Yeah. Yes. And um, do you have any advice for someone who is thinking about taking a Rivers of the World in uh, 2024? Yeah, um, I think... The first thing is, is you want to think about the length of the trip, and it sounds like it's really long, but we found this year we were never longing to hurry up and get home. There were different things every day. We had great internet communication with our friends and family, some days better than others, but we were still able to communicate with them. Probably the biggest thing is don't pack too much. <laughs> yes, there's laundry on, on, on every ship, so, you know, you can wear the same clothes for... Yeah bunch of times <laughs> yeah exactly. and you want to leave some room for souvenirs to bring home and yeah. be mindful of the packing guidelines for the different airlines oh, that's true. um okay. and also i think go ahead i think we had to buy an extra suitcase to bring some things home we did <laughs> but yeah yeah and and just you have to be willing to go with the flow and expect that there's going to be some unexpected changes things like you know day trips might change flight itineraries things get backed up um, you know, and um, maybe the tour can change, and those kinds of things happen when you're traveling. And so you have to just be part recognizing that that's part of travel and be willing to be flexible. And you know, really, those kinds of things like airline changes are just first world problems. It's part of the adventure. Right. And so you want to let those things not overshadow the experience, right. No. Yeah. From what I've read in the WhatsApp, it sounds like everyone had an absolutely fantastic time. And I love seeing the friendships that have been built. And, um, and just, uh, it's, it's, I, I want this group to get back together somehow at some point. So maybe we'll have to have a reunion cruise, right? Of our first right. Rivers of the great. World cruise. But um, you guys have already signed up for 2024's Rivers of the World. Um, so what about that one are you looking most forward to? Well, first of all, that one truly is a rivers of the world it because is. it's it's in South America, Europe, and Asia. So 
vast distances in between. So it, it really is a trip. Yeah. Um, South America, um, I've always been interested in going to Machu Picchu, just just because mm -hmm. it's, again, one of those exotic places. Right. I've been fortunate in my work. I've traveled lots. So I have been to Iguazu Falls. Oh, you have? Okay. But I'd go there again. There you go. Because <laughs> it, it's fabulous to to watch that waterfall there. Yeah. And I'm sure there'll be other lovely things. The, the ships uh, for the uh, cruise in, in South America is a very small, intimate ship. Yeah. Really looking forward to, to that. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe the one in, in Asia is like that as well. Yep. Yeah. The one um, on the Mekong is also pictures. smaller, yes. Yeah. So that will really add to the enjoyment, I think. And, and, and the, the group dynamics will be, because it'll be a smaller group there on, on the ship, I yeah. think. Absolutely. Um, They'll also be close, yeah. Yeah. Good. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to some things, particularly in Vietnam and Cambodia as well. Um, that's partly because of previous professional experience with people traveling there and partly just of interest of my own. But Hanoi would be exciting for me, the Coochie Tunnels, um, the Killing Fields and the history of Pol Pot's um, dictatorship and the temples at Angkor Wat. I mean, I just can't wait to see those things yeah. and to see them in real life, right? right? Yeah. yeah, no, I think that what we've put together is absolutely fantastic. And you're right, it is around the world. So you're starting off in, in Peru on the Peruvian Amazon, then you're heading over to Europe and doing European jewels, you know, just hitting so many different countries and experiences, then heading over to France, you know, and doing the Rhone and then heading over, you know, to, um, to Vietnam. Um, so I'm very jealous. I have to figure out what leg of this experience I will show up on and enjoy and uh, see everyone. So um, I'm definitely yeah. looking forward to that. Yeah. And we're looking forward to seeing you again, too. And sure. And hopefully, you know, we are not the only Canadians this time on Rivers of the World. <laughs> there we yeah. go. So that, that's a challenge. I think we've got to put that challenge out there to get some more Canadians on board. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, we had a right. really interesting group, though. I think what made the, the trip so nice was also the fact that we had, you know, you had people from New Zealand, Australia, Canada, the U.S. I mean, we really did have a nice mix of people. Um, mm -hmm. And so it's, uh, that, and that's what makes it special. It is about the people you're yeah. with um, and the incredible genie that you had along the way. Yeah. Yes. So. And people were willing to, um, you know, be friendly and make friends and to... Uh, just enjoy the experience together and share things from their day. It was wonderful. Yep, absolutely. And a big thank you to you, Armin, because you also sent us some beautiful videos. Uh, probably one of my favorites is of you inside of the pyramid. Um, you know, you're so tall that it's like, uh, I was like, boy, oh boy. I went through it and I thought that was difficult. But uh, it's uh, it's such an incredible thing to do. And um, we're definitely going to share that with all of our guests as well. Yeah. Okay. For me, that basic... It, if I looked at the highlight of the whole trip, going in that pyramid was, I think, my my high moment that I will remember my for the rest of my life. Just, mm -hmm. you know, bending down and, and crawling down that tunnel and then horizontal and then back up, and you were right in the center of that giant pyramid. Yeah. And then looking in 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 the burial chamber and stuff, and and. That being, you know, four thousand five hundred years oldish, it it was remarkable. Yeah. And it. Yeah. Yeah. It well, was it was incredible. What I know for sure is that you're going to have an amazing experience in 2024. Uh, yeah. You're going to hit all these wonderful sites and places, and I know there's going to be a lot of surprises along the way. Um, and like I said, I hope to have the chance to join you on at least part of it. Um, I will definitely make a big effort to do so. So um, I want to say thank you to you, though, for joining me today. And just be fun to catch up with you and just got your perspective on the rivers of the world because it's new for Uniworld. This was our first one. And uh, we're going to do it again this year. And uh, we're already thinking about what we're going to do next. I think we may wait until 2026 because that is the 50th anniversary of Uniworld. Believe it or not, we're going to be 50 years old. And I think our plan is to maybe do a 50-day cruise. Imagine, so 50 days with Uniworld. So, oh, that would be wonderful. Yeah. That would work. Yeah, yes. we could that do works. that. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Good. Well, thank you again, Sandy and Armin, for joining. And uh, let's go get some more Canadians on board. All right. Thanks for having us. Alrighty. Thanks, Thanks for guys. Us. Bye bye. 
We hope that you enjoyed your time with us and learning more about the 2024 Rivers of the World. This is an incredibly exclusive experience. It's for only 40 people. So please reach out to your travel advisor or visit us on uniworld.com to learn more. Thank you again for joining us and have a wonderful evening.